What's up guys, we're at NCAA Nationals here at Terre Haute, Indiana. I need someone to be in this week's episode of Run Junkie. Who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? I'm Brandon McCordy. Welcome to Run Junkie. Bam! <laughs> we're back, Austin, Texas. One more week, check out that skyline. You're watching Run Junkie presented by New Balance. We're gonna start things off talking about NXN, who qualified, Foot Locker, who qualified. JoJo, what do you got? In the girls' battle at the NXN Northeast Regional, we saw Ashlyn Devlin defend her individual title. Now, the two top team finishers were North Hunterdon from New Jersey and Sohegan High School from New Hampshire. Now, both these teams actually only placed second at the respective end-of-year championships, yet came on strong at the end of the season to take those auto spots to NXN. Who's King Cheserick? I don't know, but he's stepping aside because DJ Prince B, King Prince B, he's in the house. He broke another course record, his own course record. He ran 15-18, Bowden Park. He won that, he's heading to NXN. Can he win NXN National Championship? I don't know, he had a speed rating at 202. Fastest of anyone in the whole entire country this year. On the team side, CBA, they bounced back from the meet of champs last weekend. They won 122 points. Right behind them though was Staples High. They're new on the scene. Let's see if they can make a run at that title. JoJo, what about the girls? And at the Girls Southeast Regional, we saw a pre-meet favorite, Kate Murphy, one of the top ranked runners in the nation, defend her title in 1713. In the team battle, Kate Murphy's Lake Braddock girls took second place, and the number seven ranked Blacksburg girls, also from Virginia, took first place. So two Virginia girls squads headed to NXN this weekend. Here, all right, let's talk about that Southeast region. Real quick, Brody Hasty, of course, the little man killed it. 1454, he won. His time led Brentwood back to the NXN National Championship. That's right, Brentwood scored 66 points. Their team won that region. Right below them was St. Xavier, though. They scored 104 points to take second. Who are you calling little man? You, Brody, you're short. Huh. Girls' battle at NXN New York Regional is always one of the toughest in the entire country. Kelsey Camille from Saratoga Springs was undefeated going into the race and ranked number two in the country. However, she was upset by small schools New York State champion Catherine Lee, who came out of nowhere, hung with the champ, and then passed her to win by 12 seconds. Now in the team battle, FM girls won the whole thing. They're ranked number one in the country. That's no surprise. Number two spot went to Shenandoah, who didn't even make the state meet. Shenandoah coming away with a super big performance right when it counts. I don't think this is how New Yorkers sit on park benches, but we're gonna talk about that New York region anyways. What happened? Corning, what? They didn't make it. They were in our top 25. They did not qualify for NXN. They did not get an auto bid. That's disappointing, but who did? FM Boys got one and Liverpool. Liverpool has a great one, two, three punch, and they also just punched their ticket. NXN National Championship on that individual side. Who was the first individual qualifier? Nathan Lawler. He ran 1442. He's heading to NXN, baby. Super sophomore Claudia Lane continued her stellar year with the fastest time of the day at the California State Championships. She won the D4 title in 16.45, the number three fastest mark ever in the history of Woodward Park behind only California legends Sarah Baxter and Julia Stamps. Now, in the overall team merge, we saw Division I champions and runners-up Great Oak High School and Davis High School take home those top two spots. So they get to go to NXN. Now, California is a loaded state, so of course, no surprise, one of the auto bids, one of the at-large bids, rather, went to Palos Verdes, the number three team in the overall results merge. Palos Verdes was the D3 champions. All right, next we are going, going to talk, uh, talk about Cali, Cali. That's right, California State meet. My boy, Lue Lue, he won first state title for him. He ran 14.50 for that win. This year, four guys broke 15 in that merge. Who do we have? Louis G, Mike Verneau, Colin Bolger, my boy, Cooper Tier, and Eric Gonzalez, all puncher tickets to NXN. On the team side though, Great Oak, they won. We expected that, but the second place team? Cathedral Catholic. Cathedral Catholic, who? I don't know. Everyone's gonna know about them though because they're going to NXN National Championship. Good for them. They beat Dana Hills, but Dana Hills did get that wild card selection. They're also going. So we got Great Oak, Cathedral Catholic, Dana Hills, heading to NXN. On to the next thing. All right, all right, all right. Now we're talking about that Foot Locker, baby. Cha-ching! We're gonna talk about Northeast region. What happened? 
half older power, that's what happened. No half older, he won 1528. Right behind him though, only eight seconds behind him, was his brother Sam Affolder. Will Sam ever beat Noah? Another one, Sam. Hey Sam, what's up to? Oh, Sam. You know what, Noah? Just count the votes with who the people think are gonna do better at Foot Locker, me and you. Dude, you've never beat me before. What are you talking about? Think I wonder, another guy that's going to Foot Locker from that region, my boy Dalton Hanks. Huh. He kills it with his post-race celebrations. Are we gonna see one at Foot Locker? What am I gonna do when I win Foot Locker? Dab? No. Propose to City McLaughlin? Yeah. Now in the girls battle at Foot Locker Northeast, Alyssa Aldridge from New Jersey dominated the competition. She ran 1740 to win by 15 seconds. And behind her, Four girls from the state of Maryland all qualified to San Diego. Maria Coffin earned her return trip, and three other girls earned their first ticket to Foot Locker Nationals. Julian Webster, Haley Jackson, and Abby Green. At the Foot Locker Midwest Regional on the girls' side, Michigan's Ann Forsyth took the individual title. And behind her, we saw some repeat offenders in the top 10 booking their tickets to San Diego. All right, moving on to the Foot Locker Midwest region. Who won that? Dylan Jacobs, he ran a 14.58, he's heading to Foot Locker. Jake Ajo, right behind him though, he ran a 15 flat, he's heading to Foot Locker, also heading big names, Seth Hurst, Finn Gessner, they're gonna go to the NXN Foot Locker double. Now we're going to the South region. Nevada Marina, the North Carolina state champion, ran away with the win after pulling away after one mile. In that second place position was Heather Holt from Virginia, who made her first national team after finishing a disappointing 11th place last year. Foot Locker South, who won Sam Worley run 14.58 for the win, but he outkicked Connor Lane right at the last second. Connor Lane finished 14.59. In third, though, is one of my favorite runners, the young buck, Alex Mayer. He's only a sophomore. And then also qualifying from that region, Walid Suleiman, he's going to Foot Locker. And freshman, Grayson Morris. What? Freshman? I cannot wait to see what this freshman can do. All right, all right, that's a wrap. We're done. Run Junkies over. But you're gonna have to tune into milesplit.com to find out more because this weekend, what do we have coming up? Ooh, well, live on Milesplit is gonna be the Magic City Invitational being broadcast from Alabama featuring Trey Cunningham, two-time All-American, 15-time state champion, nation's top 16-meter hurdler. It's gonna be lit. Also, also though, we got that real deal invite in Virginia. Makai Harris, he's gonna be there. He's a beast. He's gonna highlight that meet. What else do we have? Uh, we're also gonna be on site at some of the nation's most exciting cross country meets of the entire year. I'll be in Portland for the Nike Cross Nationals. And I'll be at that AAU meet in Tallahassee, Florida. Gonna be a blast, but you know where you're gonna find it all? Here, milesplit.com. Tune in, bye.